guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during two episodes 13 and 14, or really the season one finale and the special <laughs> of real life. I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving and such. Me, as of right now, even though I am about to do this, I am still cooking with my mom and everything. So, yeah! <laughs> but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 13 and 3, 2, one, go. My hands smell like olive oil. Ah. Gotta have a girl moment. Ah, <gasps> Jesus, it don't say anything. <laughs> Just say okay. <laughs> oh, are we not going to get an opening today? I mean, well, it makes sense. Oh. You like I said, it makes sense cuz it's the final episode and you just want to get right into it. But then it also makes you wonder if the specials are going to have an opening. Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing I love about, like, animes that do, like, festival episodes, it's so cute how the girls will always dress up and the guys will still be in regular clothes. You want to sit down? Someone to lean on, babe. Not like a couple-y thing, but just so that you don't fall. Yeah, like, see, he tries stuff with his girlfriend. Like, that's sweet. It's like that one episode from that one thing that I... What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Don't mind me. <laughs> No, no, because she likes you. Oh, well, I guess y'all got separated. <laughs> Cause you got a crush on her. <laughs> yeah, 
so you might as well confess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Confess, nah. If you okay, here's the thing. If you really truly like Jesus, do we know still one hundred percent this is not gonna work out. But at least confess to her. That's all. Maybe promise you'll see each other again. Oh, stop! Oh, look at him. <laughs> it's so cute. No, babe. No, kiss. It's okay. So sweet, baby. <laughs> oh God, they so freaking cute. <laughs> We're like, oh my God, how do we confess on this? Like, oh. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, later. 
was. Look at all the friends which I have. I mean, it wasn't a confession, but in a way it was. I mean, more of like a a friend zone connection. But there's still like the possibility of like from episode 14 to the quote unquote finale for them to like still try something. See, we say that now, but I feel like the next episode, we gonna have something. Basically how you feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you'll go back to your normal life and they won't ever see you again. And that's the sad thing about this. Like, They'll still have memories of him, but to never see him again... That's gonna hurt. Especially for Chizuru, because of the fact is, like, she's been his friend since the beginning. She's learned new things because of him. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the fuck did always trust your instincts. I'm so fucking happy because cause it just felt so freaking off and weird and stuff and how it was like, we barely know anything about her. Oh. 
Oh, they're gonna have to confess to each other about this. <laughs> I hate when I yawn. <laughs> Puppy. Me too. But you do <laughs> Put that in the way that you think. Oh. 
embrace her. Mm-hmm. You keep saying that, but where her? No, not since that big secret came out. Mm. Mm. The fact that both of them, both of them, are thinking about this in this moment, and it's like it is sad. I mean, because. The fact is that I was fucking right, bitch. Like, oh, God. But the biggest thing is, because of the fact that neither one has told each other, it's going to be hard. It's really, truly going to be hard. And so you feel bad for both of them and how the way that they're wording, like, their sentences to each other and such. And it's like, okay, you know you only have a certain you both have a certain amount of time left and you have to make each moment count because of the fact is you know you're not going to see each other again by the end of the series and such so how is it going to be within episodes 14 to 17 with these two possibly confessing to each other because yeah they're going to have to there's got to be a moment where it's like they're going to confess. Maybe it'll happen 14, maybe it'll happen 15, 16, or 17, but it has to happen at least before this show is officially over with the four special episodes. Oh, I can't even imagine, like, watching this last I cannot speak. Oh, my God. Um, I can't imagine watching this last episode at the time of when this show came out. And y'all all being probably pissed when this show ended. And not knowing when the four specials were going to come. Now, I know from eventually, because, like, of course, I have every single episode. Um, it had to come down eventually, but to wait. For four episodes is a little annoying. I mean, it's like how, okay, the, the, okay, the only thing that I can truly compare it to like this is any time when any show that you're watching, you find out like the closer and closer you're getting to the end of the show that the show is getting an OVA episode. And usually you find out by the time the final episode comes out. Like, the day the final episode comes out, something gets announced. Either it's a second season special, and then sometimes that OVA, whatever, is usually announcing, oh, hey, 
that's also getting a second season or a third season or whatever. But what I, I would have hated waiting because it's very similar to when um, I think it was like two, two, three years ago uh, when Persona Five: The Animation was airing, and I did a reaction on like that whole entire series, and we got to the twenty, the twenty fourth and final episode, but. Homegirl, aka me, <laughs> I was over here like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I was like, I understand we're only going all the way up to the beginning of the episode. I mean, the beginning of the game, all the way to the point where we, you know, th this is spoilers, but I mean, Persona Five, the the freaking game has been out for almost like a very long time, longer in Japan than it has been here. So this is spoilers, so if you don't really care, just go. if you care, go to the next video. If you don't care, keep watching. Um, where, you know, Akechi, of course, is the traitor, and this is that and the third, and then, you know, he kills, you know, I'm a Miram, but, you know, <laughs> he ain't really dead. So we had to wait, I think, until, I think, Christmas um, for the last two episodes. So we had, like... Um, essentially the bad ending but then at the same time we didn't because of the fact is they was like oh you're gonna have like two more specials they because like what they did is and i think both of them aired on christmas because they did one special doing like the whole freaking thing of shido's palace and then there was another special to do the final palace which i thought was dumb because i remember at the time when it aired i was like this is the worst adaptation i've ever seen um, and such, but I did enjoy it strictly for the cast. That cast of that show, and, and, you know, for the game as well, they made it better, because we all know that that animation was not the best thing, but the, both the English cast and the Japanese cast made it more enjoyable, because of the fact that if you play in the game, whether it's in English or Japanese, you strictly fell in love with that cast, and you loved any moment with them. So, um... Yeah, it really sucks. So, <laughs> once again, I could not imagine, like, watching this last episode and being, yeah, you're satisfied, but you kind of wish you had something else with it. But, I mean, you know, for the first 13 episodes, this is really good. Love the fact that they, in this final episode, dropped a bomb that, yes, Chizuru was test subject number one this whole entire time. And that, in a way, this is her second time trying and such. She's tried once, she's failed, and so now... She's trying again, and she's met Adita this time. But seeing moments where they're both having their inner monologue, and the fact is that these two are not going to see each other again, even though they don't know that the other one is a test subject in the same test that they're doing, and, and just like, okay, how are you going to be able to tell the opposite person? When are you going to be able to tell them? Because that there's so many, so once again, unanswered questions about how this truly is going to go and how this is going to end. With four extra episodes, this could end anyway. I felt like we're still going to get that happy ending. Heck, it could be like freaking Angel Beats where, you know, so many things happen with the multiple endings and such but yeah we ain't gonna know until i start episode 14 so go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 14. okay episode 14 in three two one go oh and it's gonna be in her pov good good i needed that so she was just as depressed as Arita. Well, we know it won't because she failed.
Are we really doing the opening? Did, did we need the opening though? Did we? I don't think so. We could just went right into the episode continuously. But yeah, we know how this is gonna end for her. She fails because of the fact is he told Adita that well. Did he? I think from what I remember, yeah. Either he told he told him, or we found out, you know, when he was typing and saying that, yeah, test subject one failed. And, just, oh, God. Poor baby. Now it makes you wonder if this whole episode is going to be in Chizuru's POV. Or are we going back and forth between the two? I mean, I would rather see the whole episode strictly in Chizuru's POV because of the fact is there's so many unanswered questions. Like, yes, we do know she failed, but you want to see everything else leading up to her failing and getting a second chance and then are eventually meeting Adita. Oh, damn. You, you just disappointed me in like one second. <laughs> but it's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, but hold on, when is Sulfurious as of right now? Okay. Yeah, because you do keep a lot of things to yourself, but this is you slowly but surely figuring out that you also have feelings for Arata and that you want to confess to him. But the biggest thing is because of the fact is both of you don't know that the opposite person is a test subject. It's not going to end well. Because, <laughs> like, the big thing it makes you wonder is, like, so let's say by the end of this they do confess. How are they both going to feel about this confession? So it's going to... I mean, like, maybe Chizuru might be happy. I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, Jesus. She's already going in on this. Because, of course, he's under a strict contract with him. Just as you. Mm. But because of him, you now have feelings about people. I wanted to spend time with them. She's just like, I don't want this. <laughs> ah! Complications. Can't talk about it. Yeah, he'll be watching Arata, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no.
Mm, let's hope that this time it doesn't end in failure. Which it seems like it's not. Don't they make, like, a make of it or something? I mean, because, like, what did I see a while back ago? I think we were maybe on week three or week four on this show. And that was when, it was whatever week, where I mixed up an episode. And I got to see, like, a little bit of one of the OVA episodes. And Chizuru was dressed up as a maid. And I think Adita was dressed as a butler. Chizuru? <laughs> well, ain't this interesting? Horse, come on now. <laughs> what happened?
Yeah. Uh. So you don't want her to see him. Basically. I get that. Mm-hmm. No, I think she would. You just have to, like, coax her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should do the same. Something tells me that, like, the final three episodes that I'll be watching next week, probably on Monday, um that's when they're probably going to confess to each other about it. Oh.
feel like something's about to happen in a minute. Mm-hmm. We all knew that. <gasps> oh, she likes her cute with her face. <laughs> So the fact is that, you know, this episode went back and forth between Adita and Chizuru. I really, 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 truly enjoyed that. But, because there is a but, I do kind of wish that the whole episode was Chizuru's POV. So now, I mean, especially since we've known, we know about this since last episode. Um, all the flashbacks to, like... <clears throat> Excuse me, all my God, I'm sorry. Um, all the memories that either Arata and Chizuru have of each other and situations that they've done together for their other friends, they all look different now because of the fact is that they are both adults and they're both test subjects at the end of the day. Now, going into these final three episodes and the fact that, you know, Arata is finally like saying to himself, he is in love with her. It's like, okay, when is she, like, in a way, Chizuru's kind of already, like, figured it out herself that she's also in love with Arata as well. But there's got to be a moment, and I'm guessing it's going to happen in one of these final three episodes when I do watch this next week, where she is going to confess. Where they're both going to confess to each other. And I think once they do, that's when one or both of them will confess, hey, this is that and the third. But... When Chizuru basically asked um, Yohan about Arata, if he would have said something, of course, she wouldn't have seen Arata ever again. So he's going to deny, deny, deny. But if it's like a moment where both of these two initially tell each other, are they not going to be able to see each other again after this? They, th that's why there's like still like, how, how in the world is this going to end in three episodes? Because we only have three episodes left before I'm done. And I'll be done with it by next week. So it's really complicated as of right now. And how these two are going to confess. Because yeah, we had, you know, best boy Olga and Rena confess. It's now for these two to finally confess. And be like, let's take it to the next level. Let me tell you about everything about me and the truth about me. And if it goes well for both of them then we'll be ending this show with them officially being boyfriend and girlfriend and taking that, well, maybe more or less taking that next step together, which is boyfriend and girlfriend and maybe possibly living together. Who really knows? But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Real Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the final three episodes. Like I said, you know, even though this is a day later, 
Um, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoyed your day. If you're celebrating it today, for everyone else who is not officially celebrating it today, I hope you had a nice day, you know, day off, whatever you're personally doing. I hope you were taking, you know, time out to just relax because, I mean, this is a day to relax yeah, and eat as well because a lot of us will be eating today um, as this is the time of this recording. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.